Hey guys, it's Kenny again. Back from the dead. Um, this is just gonna be a quick update about what's going on. So apparently I haven't been able to fix the laptop, so... I'm gonna start looking for a laptop so I can start editing videos again, because I'm locked out of my old laptop. So, no laptop. No editing videos, so... So, since I haven't made a video in a long time, I decided to at least try to attempt to do something. And it's not going to be something funny or a WTF rant, but it's going to be an unboxing video. And a response video, I guess, to a YouTuber. But let me just start off with the this small story before I do the unboxing. Around when I was the age of 8 years old, I started getting into guns. All types of guns. You know. Uh, and my childhood, I've always wanted to have the M16 and the AK-47. But, this is Amer- I'm a normal civilian, so I guess AR-15 and AK-47. But... I've always wanted to get my hands on one of those guns. But with the New York Safe Act now, and since I'm legally allowed to buy all these types of guns, with the New York Safe Act, I can't get these so-called assault weapons. So that's a little bit of a problem. And, rec and recently, or a while ago, you saw me pull out the Mossberg 500, shotgun in the uh, WTF butter video and yes that was a real shotgun but um, I was looking online to see where I could get an AK-47 at a gun store where I can legally buy it you know and not have to go through all the regulations that the New York Safe Act puts all the evil features and I recently found one and it's in this box in this box okay so this is made in Russia made from the actual factory I don't know if you can see it was made in the actual fit in the factory by Ishmash it was where um, the original AK-47 um, was mass-produced same exact factory um, so time to open it up da -da -da -da. we have a Russian Sega 7.62 by 39 AK-47. Well, I'm not sure if all guns come oil, oiled and or oily all over the thing, but I guess that's to prevent rust or corrosion during uh, delivery. So now you're all thinking, Kenny, this is not an AK-47. This looks nothing like an AK-47. Now that is where you're wrong. Because let me get you my BB gun AK-47. If you can look very closely at the receiver, they look pretty identical. It has the AK-47 receiver. But as you see, it doesn't have a pistol grip or it doesn't have a muzzle. Or a threaded barrel to put a muzzle or compensator. But uh, you get the idea. Also, right here where the trigger is, it's moved back. Because you have this Monte Carlo style buttstock. And, well, you get the idea. Let's see what else comes in this. Okay. Okay. Um, in New York, I'm only allowed to have a 10 round magazine. For a for pretty much every gun that takes a magazine, handguns you can only get a ten round magazine, but you can't put more than seven rounds in it. Kind of stupid. So before I load that, I should probably check it. I should probably should have checked it in the first place, but oh well. It is not loaded. Alright, so, nothing in there. Safe to put in. See this? I'm gonna guess this is a cleaning rod. It's got like a little thread there, so there's probably 
some brushes in the box somewhere. Um, as you can see, it says self-loading hunting carbine. I think this is the certificate of authenticity. Not hundred percent sure. Yes, the certificate of authenticity. And inside is a manual. Has other, I guess, there are other AK-47 designs made by Sega or Saiga. And some disclaimers. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot those these other things. I was told that they used this to hold oil to, you know, lubricate the guns and stuff like that. And yeah, this is empty. And this little cap, so I think I see a few brushes in there. Yeah, I see a brush, some extension cleaning rods. Uh... Yeah, it's bad oily. But you get the idea. Put that back in. Now we're going to go at it again with, Kenny, why did you get something like that? Why didn't you get a real AK-47? Well, first off, it is AK-47. Uh, where is it? Yes, this. Take the magazine. All this bull crap. This is the it says it right there. 7.62 by 39. Magazine should say 7.62 by 39. So put goes right in place. Take that out. Put it back in. Do another safety check. It's not loaded. And put that back inside. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the other part of the video I'll be doing? Well, I was looking on YouTube. And I found this other YouTuber named um, KB2ZYA. And he made a video about um, making his AR-15 legal to own in New York. And I guess this is a response video. Because as long in the New York State, not the city, New York State, which is where I'm living in right now. As long as it doesn't have those key evil features, I can legally own it and I don't have to register it. So let's look at the things that my AK-47 has and does not have. Do you a type of gun? It's a semi-automatic. Yes, it's a semi-automatic. Does your gun have the ability to accept a detachable magazine? As you can see, yes it can. Okay, so yes. Okay, well, this is a long line. Does your gun have any of the following features? Please check all that apply. Folding or a telescoping stock. As you can see, you really can't, you can't, you can't fold it or make it shorter or longer. So, no. Does it have a thumb hole stock? Well, there's really no hole right here to put my thumb, so no, it does not have that. A second hand grip or protruding grip that can be held by a non-shooting hand. Well, this is a big no-no right now, this right here, but this one does not. As you can see, you can't. There's no rail to actually put any of those kind of accessories on there. So no, my uh, Russian Sega AK-47 does not have a protruding second-hand grip. Okay. 
does it have a protruding pistol grip? Okay, so right here is a big no-no. Right here. But as you can see, there is no pistol grip. And it's not really protruding pat really far out from the trigger or the trigger guard. So this is 100% legal. I can have that, so that's how I bought it. So no, no per protruding pistol grip. Does it have a bayonet mount? Well, let's see. Well, you really can't mount a bayonet on here. There's no mount. And the only thing this thing is, is for a sling to carry. Does it have a flash suppressor? Let's see. Well, all I see is a barrel and it's chrome lined inside, but I don't see a suppressor. Okay, so I don't I don't have a flash su suppressor. Does it have a muzzle brake? Muzzle compensator, a threaded barrel designed to accommodate a flat suppressor or suppressor, muzzle, brake, or compensator. Like I already said, there's no threaded barrel to add any of those type of accessories onto this Sega or Saiga. So, no. Mine does not have that. Does it have a grenade launcher? Now, who the hell in New York is going to be able to get their hands on a grenade launcher? Although, some of the guys at my job used to smuggle all these types of guns and sell them on the street for $300. I paid six fifty dollars because in New York, everything is so goddamn expensive, but the jobs here are easier. No, so I do not have a grenade launcher. Wow. Okay. None of the above. I do not have any of those features, so let's do this. Okay. Your gun is not an assault weapon. Please note that the, this answer is based solely on the information that you have provided. So as you can see, no, pist no protruding pistol grip, no grenade launcher, no bayonet mount, no, you know, muzzle, or flash suppressor, no threaded barrel to put one on. No protruding second-hand grip. No thumbhole stock. And according to this, it is a hunting rifle. But let's be honest, this is a real AK-47. I can convert this into a real AK-47 look. I could just, you know, I believe uh, Carolina shooting... Whatever, uh, that website will provide parts. Um, so this just proves that no matter how many laws they place, you will still find a way to get them, whether we buy it legally or illegally. Let's let, just let that sink in. I bought an AK, but it doesn't, doesn't have all those features of an AK. It doesn't have any of those features of the New York Safe Act. So what does that mean? Okay. Well, I think that's about it for this video. Oh no, yes. Um, I think all most of you guys know that uh, a few weeks ago, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name properly, Mikhail Kalashkanov passed away. And I guess this is a tribute video to him. So, yes. That's about it. Rest in peace, Mr. Kalashkanov. And thank you for inventing such such a weapon. So you like, you take a hike, comment, and subscribe. I do have a Twitter, so you can follow me on the twat. Um, this video is brought to you by RPM, Real Performance Models. If you love cars and you love bitches, join us. We got so much to share. Um, think that I think that's about it. So, uh, see you guys later.